Hello Aquarius, welcome to your weekly reading. This is going to be for the week of the 26th going to the 2nd of May. Um, I'm late but it's okay because I'm finally here. Uh, for those of you who are watching it on the day that I release it, um, it is a full moon today, Scorpio full moon, which is great. It's a super moon as well, which is awesome because it's big. It's a big release going on for you guys. So make sure that we use this time to get rid of anything that we need to really remove from our lives. Um, because it's Scorpio energy as well, we may experience some loss around this time, a loss of finances, a loss of people in our life, a loss of opportunity in our life. But the great thing about it is, is Scorpio's energy is like Phoenix energy, which you also had in your channeled messages. So it's a, a constant theme for the air signs here about rising up despite the downfalls and it's one thing i want you to remember is that no matter how difficult things feel it will always get better okay it really really will and it doesn't seem like it in the moment but i promise you it is the case um using this time using this day to do any kind of rituals or any routines that you like to do uh salt baths whatever meditations anything that calms you crystal work i'm not quite sure candle magic if you guys are into that i'm not involved um, but this is a really good time to set intentions on releasing things and also knowing what it is that you want to move into because it is a sign of transformation. For me anyways, how I read astrology because I'm just, I go the flow of how I see things. Um, it is about new beginnings too, right? It's a definite of an old you in certain areas. If you wanted to know about how the, how this, I'm stuttering. If you want to know how this full moon will affect you personally, I look into your chart, whether you go by uh, Vedic or whether you go by Western astrology, you do you, however it applies, look at the house of where Scorpio is in in your chart. This will be where it's going to affect you. Say, for example, if it is in your first house, you'll be releasing a lot of how you approach the world. You might be changing certain characteristics within yourself, could even be changing your looks, letting go of an old part of yourself. You could be, again, transforming on that level. If this full moon is going to be in your fourth house, do with your home life, could be moving home, could be releasing anything to do with your childhood. You could be, you know, um, healing wounds with your mother or, you know, removing that from your life or, you know, the foundations that you're in. If it's 10th house to do with your work, releasing um, how you're viewed in your work or, you know, um, this could be quite good actually for that because there's a transformation in your 10th house of your reputation. So things in your work life will be changing if that is the case. Um, any other areas, you know, 7th house, Scorpio is in your 7th house. That means you're a Taurus, Taurus ascendant. Uh, this will be to do with your relationships, releasing the karma in your relationships and the old people in your life, right, that uh, have hurt you. Anyways, Aquarius, however it applies, this is a good time to release, okay, wherever it is in your house. Even if you don't know your birth time, it's okay, just releasing is the overall theme for this I guess today and the next couple of days afterwards. Um, the channeled messages that came out for the air science was a little bit a little bit deep, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but it's okay because it is Phoenix rising energy, so sometimes we have to kind of burn to ashes to restart our lives, and this feels like a new beginning for you. It feels like the song, I don't know if I've mentioned it already, that came to mind when I was channeling for you guys was uh, a song by Demi Lovato, Skyscraper. It's a really old song, but the song is practically about no matter what people do or say or, you know, uh, anything that's going on around you, you will rise up like a skyscraper, right? To someone that is seen, bold, right? Stands out and high as fuck, you know? It's not the weed, Aquarius. <laughs> Stop smoking that, that stuff. Anyways, um, if I calm down, Zeta. Um, it's basically about being out there um, and not giving a fuck about what people think, which is amazing of you. And I'm very proud of you for doing that because it's not easy um, when people, you know, this is about not being afraid to stand out either, which is good. Um, and, and glowing up practically is the case, right? Because we may have been a lot of shack to begin with, but now we're coming up as a skyscraper. Um, there's a bit of a judgment here. Um, I keep saying Scorpio, but it's because of the Scorpio full moon, um, Aquarius. There is a little bit of judgment going on here for the air signs, a little bit of jealousy, I feel like, but that's okay. I mean, it's specifically for you, Aquarius, that people are kind of watching every move of yours. Don't worry about it. I know it's hard. It's easier said than done when you're not the one listening to all the like, nasty comments that people are saying, but um, you need to, by understanding your worth, you start to realize these people don't know what they're talking about. They're just throwing bullets, right? Without realizing or, you know, knowing where to hit. You know, these people are saying things for the sake of saying things. I feel like these people are trying to trigger you. And I don't know why, what their issue is. We'll find out if it comes up in the reading. But I hope it doesn't because we don't want to spend no time on these people. Okay? That's what I'm saying. 
Who gives a fuck about these people, hmm? Who cares? Um, definitely not me. I don't pay attention to that crap, Aquarius. You guys know me. Why would you? You're royalty, huh? When you're in this channel, <laughs> when you're in this channel, you guys are, okay, boss bitches, don't care. Um, so these people aren't worth your time and energy, okay? Okay, well, absolutely. This makes a lot of sense. So a lot of you guys are starting to realize people's true colors. This is good because this card has a bit of 50-50 to it. Uh, one message comes in says that you might be getting some income around this time, which is great. This feels good. This feels like an improvement is what I want to say with this. But as of you, this is also going to be about, again, un undoing the layers. Um, so what this means here is that the people that you thought were good for you, you're starting to understand aren't. The people that you didn't really have a good clue on are also starting to reveal their true colors and they might even become best friends of yours, right? People you weren't quite sure about, you're starting to ease up with them a little bit more, which is good. Just be very mindful because we do have masks in this picture. Normally it's about unmasking, so again, it's good. We're being vulnerable around people. But in this instance, especially with the channeled messages, just be very mindful. There could be some people around you who do have masks on, all right? Just because they look good on the outside and speak sweetly to you, Aquarius, doesn't mean that they are your friend, okay? Okay, anyways, going into a reading, my lovely, what we have here is the chop wood card. Also, Aquarius, I'm so sorry, I have to get this out because the channeled messages, the cards came through, we're walking away from something that isn't good for us, okay? Um, this could even be a relationship. It felt heavily like a relationship and the song is similar to that, I guess. There's many interpretations that you can bring into this, but um, for those of you who suffered in relationships, I just want to say that you may feel as though someone has walked away without even paying any attention to you. It kind of feels like someone ran away from a situation. You know, you found out what they did and they just kind of dipped. Um, they're a coward at the end of the day. And, it, you know, um, they're going to reap their own karma from what they've done. You need to keep focusing forward, right? Fall forwards, not backwards, is the motto here. Um, even if you know you don't know why you're going moving forward or if you don't even feel like you're doing it properly, fall forwards you'd rather make a mistake moving forward than going backwards okay so keep moving forward um let's see what's going on for you so the first message coming out for you here aquarius is the top wood card i love this for those of you really we're gonna have frizzy hat today okay we'll go with it um, the chopper card is about continue doing what it is that you're doing. Any manifestations that you're trying to bring to life, and a really amazing card saying it will happen. You just need to carry on doing what it is that you're doing. Some of you could be trying to gain savings for something here, guys. Uh, I feel as though we're trying to work really, really hard to make sure that an opportunity opens up to us. I like the goals that we have out of life. I like where we are going. It looks really, really positive and good. Um, don't be afraid to start fresh. Don't be afraid to start off as a student. Don't be afraid to start off as someone new because sometimes it's the newbies that always have a, a keen eye for things and can bring new things into the picture so you have a lot more value than you realize which is amazing and opportunities are going to start to open up for you sometimes it's about sticking to the mundane of routines do not panic do not worry you are making progress for those of you who don't feel like you are you are okay um you can't see it because you're doing the same thing day in day out but you are starting to make progress and i want you to be proud of that also because it's leading you towards where it is that you're going which is great by the way you also have a leg up which is talking about divine detours okay so you might even recognize that things are starting to change around you um this is about trusting in spirit and where you're going. Some of you may have undergone a detour already, a change in the wind, uh, a change in a routine, a change in where you were going in life, a change in the plan, whatever it is, spirit, sorry, the spirit is saying to keep going. The regeneration card is also good for moving. So some of you may have moved, some of you could be moving, some of you are also changing jobs, like something quite big is happening for you. Um, the regeneration though is about starting fresh and it is Phoenix rising energy. You have been removed from situations that were very bad for you. Oh my God, I feel like very bad for you. Um, I get alcohol, uh, alcohol abuse or someone who was a bit of a drinker or I don't know what it is. Alcohol may have been an issue in a relationship or in a situation. Uh, yeah, anyways, the tree is you. So unfortunately, well, fortunately, fortunately, we are protected, which is a good thing. Unfortunately, the situation, environment or person that we was with or the situation that we was in 
was starting to do more bad than good in our life and things started to go sour, which means that we have to be removed from these situations. Well, when we're in it, okay, it's difficult because we're like, why is this happening to me? But when you come out of it, you start to realize that it would have done a lot more damage for you to stay in a situation. So this is why we had to move away from it. Um, we'll, we will start to see it afterwards though. It's almost like when you start to see the progress of this new thing, you'll realize why this needed to happen. Because I do think a lot of progress is going to be coming in for you uh, as you're moving forward, which is great. Okay, let's see what is going on. I keep getting this like... Uh, Anyways, let's move forward. I'm not going to say it. Let's see what's going on for you guys. We have the four of swords, so definitely healing from something. You are being asked to remember to look after yourself. You are in control of that. Um, let's see. Can we clarify this emperor? The six of swords. Absolutely amazing. So we're moving towards something better. And in fact, we're gaining more control. So a situation that maybe it was false, like that you, they made you feel like you had control of a situation and you realized that you didn't have any say in something or you didn't have any control in a situation or um, any knowledge of what was going on behind the scenes. The owl, okay, I, I, okay. I feel like something or someone, something was hurting you without you realizing it. It's only when you come out of it that you realize that it was hurting you. Um, this feels quite deep. It's a sudden realization for you guys within this week. Hearing the name Wendy. I had to wave there. <laughs> I just had hey. I feel like I need to say hello to a Wendy or someone who knows a Wendy. Or maybe it's a Wendy saying hey. Um, we have the four of swords, which is about you healing. Take some time now, okay? It's very important for you to make sure that you are okay. All right? Aquarius, you guys like to be the person who is helping everybody else and you like to make sure that everyone else is happy. You you bring up the vibe, right? You guys are the good vibes. Um, and you use those good vibes to help other people heal. You need to use this for yourself, all right? Spend some time within yourself, watch some Netflix if it makes you feel good. I feel like some of us are healing from breakups, by the way, because it feels very emotionally, like, pulled, right? Something's really disappointing here. Um... Okay, um, so doing things that make us happy is important. And in fact, where we're going towards here, guys, we're going to Six of Swords, which is moving towards better times. So this divine detour that Spirit's taking you on, you need to trust because it's moving you towards the Emperor. The Emperor is about you having control. This is also good if you are going into new relationships with someone who actually is who they say they are and is someone who is of authority. This is someone who really has very big goals, ambitions in life. Someone who is very like, um, I get a very dominant energy. It doesn't have to be ma like male figure, but it is someone who likes to take on a lot of like authority in a situation. You know, they, they take action, they take initiative. Um, so you will feel very safe around this person if that is the case for you guys as well. Um, this could also be good if you are changing jobs, changing boss. Um, this feels good as well. The only issue is, I mean, it's good because it's elevation. It's saying this is a, an upgrade. You may not see it straight away, but it is. Um, yeah. Okay. It is an upgrade. Mm. Okay, relationship wise, I'm going to say something. The next person you'll be with will be very different from the last. Um, it's a good thing. The issue is you might not see it like that straight away. I think we go from someone being so emotionally there, uh, and supportive and, you know, balancing us to someone who isn't so emotionally supportive, but they are safe and secure. Like the thing is with this energy, this person knows emotions very well enough to ma manipulate. So you may have been with a manipulator, okay? Because we have the Ten of Swords here with this person. So someone not too off balance, someone, um, I don't know about this last person that you was with though, because it kind of feels like they still weren't there for you. It doesn't, I mean, there's a lot of positives that I can see coming up here with the Six of Cups as well. Aquarius. Um, but it feels as though they always have their eyes closed. Anyways, we move away from that. Thing is, 
Well, boy, they have the, the King of Cups, which is emotionally stable, right? <clears throat> we go from someone who's very emotionally inclined, a water sign most likely, but if not, it's someone who's very empathic, someone who really does, he understands your emotions, Aquarius. We go from that to someone who is an emperor. And again, masculine, feminine energy doesn't really matter here. It's just the characteristics that they, that they take on. To go from a King of Cups to an emperor, it definitely is an upgrade, but we may be more like, thinking and nostalgic about someone who was very emotionally there for us and who really kind of understood us and uh, we might be missing that from time to time but the emperor energy is someone who is going to make you feel safe and grounded this is someone who would never want to hurt you because with this energy as you can see this is someone who really is responsible um and they they take on that responsibility this is someone who wants to look after you whereas this energy personal gain maybe yeah it feels like it because it feels like <coughs> We may have like been tempted to walk away from this person quite a few times. I try not to choke here. Um, but this person never saw it. The times that you felt like it would be the right decision to make to walk away. Because there was a lot of pain in this situation. <clears throat> uh, we was wondering where this was even going to go. Because it felt like uh, it wasn't really going anywhere. Like almost like um, you, you both probably had feelings for each other. No word about it soulmate connection absolutely but the ten of swords here just it kind of reminds me of like when you were tempted to walk away this person didn't do anything about it or this person didn't realize this person may have understood your emotions but didn't realize how you felt in the relationship which is interesting because i'm pretty sure that's contradictory but maybe no one did thing is we miss this though there's something about this person that you do miss i can see that Maybe their company. Maybe their company. Maybe because you're used to them, huh? <clears throat> A lot of people coming in your reading. Um, what have I been calling you this whole time, Aquarius? I mean, this is the Aquarius card, which is good. Um, five of Pentacles, feeling left out on a cold, right? This is a uh, feeling locked out from an opportunity or for something, from something. King of Swords, if this is another person, this is someone who's been very cold with you. Um, when you walked away, this person closed their eyes, pretended it didn't happen. That's what it feels like. Um, the King of Swords, this person detached from the situation when they realized it was done and over with. This, this, this cuts deep because it made you really feel shit about yourself. Of how, how could they just cut you off like this? How can they just pretend that you don't that they don't care about you. Whoever this is, you really seek their approval. Not approval, but you know what I mean. You wanted them to at least try. And they didn't. They kept themselves locked out from the situation too. They called it quits without even trying. Like the key's there, the door's there. They didn't do it. Because they felt like they didn't really have... It was, it's a pity party on this person's behalf. All right, we're going to be honest with you. They had the choice to do it. We have to understand their emotions, though. They felt like they, they could have, but they probably knew that the door was going to get shut in their face if they tried to open it. So this person's not going to reach out and ha won't reach out. Um, if this is you, though, Aquarius, because at times it is, sometimes this is also you shutting yourself out from people, make sure we're not doing that, okay? If you need to heal, that's fine, but I do think we're going into some better things moving forward. Now, let's see outside of love what's going on with the regeneration card. With Phoenix Rising, remember, and as I'm saying that the full card comes out, which is great. So moving into, okay, yeah, absolutely. So removing this kind of attitude from our mind is super important. Two of Swords is about making a decision, so you might be having to do that, all right? Again, a complete change in in a direction that we're going in the four of cups also speaks of an opportunity just be very mindful that you don't shrug this away before even seeing it they're saying you need to see this if something keeps coming back to you i mean this you may be going into a relationship with someone that you always had there you didn't see them that way right um or this could be an opportunity that you always had there but it, it's different this time like it's just different this time i'm guessing that with this because I kind of feel like we, we're being told not to shrug this off, to look at it properly this time. Um, and, and this is what's going to be happening for you. And I think we're going to take a leap of faith in this kind of direction, which seems good. And this new beginning is the right direction. It's going to bring you a lot of happiness. And I feel like um, anyone who's done you wrong will be regretting it. Five of Swords here. We're detaching from anything that has caused us to feel upset emotionally. We're moving away from our emotions. We're learning to balance our emotions from an ending that has happened. Um... 
bossing up practically Aquarius I like this energy coming in absolutely especially when the six of wands comes in to end the reading huh despite anybody else may have been cheating may have been lying may have been deceit sneakiness something that you cannot stand Aquarius you will always be successful you always will be successful why because you are not afraid of the spotlight you are not afraid to shine bright you are not afraid of success anymore you move forward and also, you know you're a kind heart, Aquarius. So anyone who's done you wrong, anyone who has told you that you can't do what it is that you want to do, anyone who has gone behind your back and done things they shouldn't have done, you will always be successful. Will this person be watching you? I have no doubt about it. Um, this person walked away so that they didn't get hurt because they hurt you. For some reason, because I feel like there's emotion now, which is really annoying. Why do people do this, huh? Anyways, you'll be successful, my lovelies. You will come out the wall very successful, my loves. For those of you who want to be in the spotlight, this looks good. You'll get a great audience. You have a lot of support around you as well. Ten of Wands came out here about releasing. So again, really great for this full moon. Awesome stuff. And the Five of Cups. So releasing any negativity. Releasing, you know, sitting around wondering, you know, why things happen. And instead of actually going, do you know what? I can change this. I can change where my life is going. And doing so will bring about some very positive things. Group projects look good around this time. Work looks good around this time. You might get a promotion around this time. Also, because why you're a phoenix rising, you're about to start working your ass off to get to that success. In fact, this little downfall has given you even more of a motivational boost to actually go, do you know what? This is not going to be my life. I want more. And you will get more. Okay, let's pull you out in a device card, my lovely angels, and see what else is going on for you. Let's see, we have the two of cups. Mm, okay, this is the love bird card, and this says you're falling in love or experiencing a deepening of emotion in your current relationship. Marriages or romantic partnerships in distress can still be saved. Do not give up. Oh, so this will like this emperor in our life, uh, whoever this may be, someone who may have their own business or is very. Um, good with their responsibilities in life they are someone who plays the right very traditional person um very traditional person someone who holds a lot of power in their life you know they're taking control of their life this person will inspire you to do more in your life this could be a friend it could be a relationship it could be a connection this card is showing up purely to do with love so for those of you this looks good in terms of love but the normal traditional two of cups is also just to do with connections with people business partnerships this looks good um, this looks very good. Any contracts you'll be signing, any group projects you'll be uh, contributing towards will be also very good and help you towards your success as well, which is amazing. So this Phoenix rising, this glowing up, this moving towards better times, you're going to make a lot of people regret ever shitting on your name, Aquarius. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Um, I love you guys. I will see you guys next week. Um, just a little bit of an announcement in terms of the personal readings, well, I don't know if I'm going to be bringing these back. If I do, you'll hear about it. I'm so sure you'll see it on my channel. Um, but I am not planning on doing this for a long time anymore. Okay, so um, if I do open them up, it will be for a small amount of people. So make sure you are aware when you see it. Make sure you take action on it as soon as. Um, but if, if not, it might be my last time. Um, next time that I do it as well because I'm not quite sure. I want to spend more time on YouTube. I want to do more daily readings. I want to do more like live streams with you guys. So um, it takes a lot of pressure off of me for doing like a million readings a day um, so that I can actually have energy to speak to you because I want it. And also like Instagram lives and stuff. I'm going to try and be more active there within the next few months. So um, yeah, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Okay, enjoy. Spend this full moon making sure that we release things and be a phoenix rising bitch like seriously um you are made for big things okay i love you and i'll see you guys next time